know what you have to say. Everyone read the second line. Go. I care. I care. I care, I care what you have to say. All the, the texts that we write about, I've read them. I know what the author said. I need everyone to be tracking me. Justin, nice tracking. Joshua, nice tracking. I know what the author said. You need to put it in your basin just to show and prove your answer, but I care more about what you have to say. And interpretation is your chance to, in your own words, explain how the evidence that you picked supports your assertion. I want you to quickly type in the sentence starter you use the most when you're writing your interpretation. Type in the sentence starter you use the most when writing your interpretation. 30 seconds, go. Everyone should know. The one you use the most, not one that you see from this chart. One you use the most. Let's go. Just one. Ten. Joshua uses this proof that the most. Nine. Eight. I see a lot of this proves that. Five. Another this proves that. Three. Two. One. Raise your hand if you wrote this proves that. All right, put your hand up. Whatever that sentence started, you wrote that you used the most. I'm challenging you to not use that sentence starter for when you write your ASA today. You have a whole list. Choose a different one. Don't be robots. Don't always write the same thing. That's my challenge to you. Now, if you don't want to challenge yourself and you want to use what you know, go for it. But that is my challenge. All right, scroll down to where it says, let's look at a few examples. Silently read that ASA paragraph. This is from one of your friends in sixth grade. You guys all know about Spider, so it should make sense. Read that ASA and highlight the interpretation. Go on. Silently, so I shouldn't hear anyone speaking. mumbling. You're silently highlighting the And check if you did it correctly. This is Larry. And Larry, you had a perfect color. Now you're trying to make it darker. I'm going to change it here. Look up here. This is Larry. This is what Larry highlighted. And he is correct. This is the interpretation. Larry, can you tell us how did you know this was the interpretation? Say it again. This shows that. You knew because of the sentence starter? Now, with her shoulder partner, if you were a teacher and you had to score this student on their interpretation, five points for just the interpretation, what would you give them? Go, with your shoulder partner. Would you give them a five out of five? A zero? Charles is a tough teacher. Charles is a tough teacher. He said he would give the student a zero. Why, why is he? 
as one or two, three, four or five. All right, hands down. I would definitely not give them zero just because they, they used the sentence starter. So that should at least be one. Did they explain? No. Does it sound repetitive, this ASIC, in general? So we're not just in general. Is it very repetitive? Yes. So, but, but, did they use sentence starters? Yes. So that just goes to show, guys, that even if you're using your sentence starters and you know what each part of your Chromebook should be on your desk, how each part should stop, start, we're not robots. You actually have to think about what to write. I want you to highlight that and write your own interpretation. How will you improve it? Go. Yeah. 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 Y